All right, welcome to part two of our Robot Adventures review. Come by. Oh, where's the camera? There it goes. So, this is actually a reshoot on what two days after I bought this thing. Um. Yeah. So I put up the part one, and. Um, it was alright, but, um, yeah, just, uh, it just, it took a long time to put up, and I, I, the, the timing of the uploads and stuff like that, so, um, what was left over was, a, you know, maybe only five minutes, and I was like, well, I might as well do the whole second part again. Um, and that's what I'm doing. So, children, don't watch this. Dumbasses, shit for brains, stupid people, shitheads, poo poo faces. People who like to eat poo poo need to find something else to eat. I don't think that's nutritious. Um, yeah, everyone else check it out. So, uh, yeah, I kind of sped through the re the transformation in part one, and that's because I was trying to figure out how to do it, and all off camera and on camera and all over the place um so i guess in this part i'll show you the transformations of the part of the the guys and um well, i think i already did this guy and uh the reverse transformation from alt mode into robot mode um because uh yeah i guess i'll do that so let's look at them transformed up here and then i'll point out some of the problems i had with them um, without his little gun buddy or his little bat buddy there. So, very shiny. Shiny, shiny. Um, a lot of clear pieces there. So, the, the transformation, uh, not too difficult. Um, I guess, but looking at it from the front end. I guess it looks kind of cool, but from the back, I mean, if you went in there with a bunch of, you know, markers and did up all those uh, ridges and the molding, I think it'd be pretty cool. You can do all, you know, the, the way it looks on the box and the way it actually is. Oh, I forgot to put the last sticker on there. So there goes a sticker right there, but um, the shininess, um, that's okay, good. I think you could probably get a similar effect if you knew how to paint, but... Um, yeah, I kind of like the um, ridged look, the the ridges on there. It's also like a, it's also on the, um, on the legs. So you get, uh, do this, and do that. yeah, you can see it that way. But yeah, if you could paint that up, I think that'd be pretty good. Um... All right, so let's uh, show you the the little gun. I forgot his name. I didn't even look it up, but there's a gorilla guy here. Oh, I think he's the same as the other one, right? There was another arms. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's another um, Megatron with an arms micron gun. The smaller version of him, but um, yeah, it just kind of pops in there, and then the. And then the head, bye bye head. Rotate that, get around there, and then switch that. So, um, hmm. shiny. Yeah, this guy. I think I've already shown you how to transform him. Um. It looks a little bit darker today. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But, um... He's got his little, I guess, claw feet or something. Can swoop down. Pick up little children or something. I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Just playing with this guy. I was listening to the audiobook. Um... When I was putting this guy together, so now I'm, um, 
Oh, he's got a cute little stance there. Um, I just keep remembering the audiobook by uh, Philip K. Dick, an author on Livervox. And uh, the story. It's like, oh, yeah, that, that guy goes with the story. Mm, okay. So, uh, so I guess you can put this gun in there. Put your gun in there. Oh, what's happening? You know. There we go. <laughs> From this angle, he looks kind of cool. From that angle, he looks somewhat and from this is like what well, so um yeah no well, you it, I guess it's similar to the to the US version just all shiny uh, transformation wise uh, I think it's similar so you just uh, pop the legs off and one thing I was giving me trouble was uh, where to place these little shoulder pads and they go on the outside like that, which when I was trying to do it just off camera without instructions, I didn't know that. So um, I was having problems putting aligning them up, and I was like, no. Oh. And I wasn't if it, I wasn't sure if it was a, it was an alignment issue, if I wasn't uh, transforming him correctly. But uh, turned out I wasn't doing it right. So um, he does have some. Um, pegs and stuff like these little pegs go into this little slot tabs and slots um and not much to say about that uh, kind of you know, basic transformation drop the legs down and uh, um one thing I I do want to say about this um is the shoulder pieces and I mentioned that in in the first video um, but it was at super high speed that you couldn't catch it but um, they're kind of tight kind of I mean really really and you gotta kind of wiggle them until you can rotate them if not you might stress this plastic bar right here and that would be shitty because then you'd break your figure and then you couldn't transform them or you could but yeah so you gotta wiggle it just a little bit like the song right um, and yeah that is pretty much got his backpack spread out his arms get the shit up get his Elvis pants going and you're done Arms down there and lower shoulder. Okay, good. So that tab has to go into there, but last time it would click in a place. That right there. I had to give it a little bit of juice last time. really it's not in there it's not in there it goes
Arga garg. Really back heavy. So has a reverse transformation. <laughs> as much as you saw. Um I guess he's alright. Um oh his hands. I think the cost is way too high for for the what you're gonna import them at. Um, the stick, well, you know, yeah, that's what I think. If you really, really have to have them, then get them. If you don't mind paying the price, but um, but if if, you, if yeah, that's it. It's too expensive. Quality control issues. Um, some of them, some of the joints are really tight. Some of the tabs don't line up perfectly, but um, well, he's okay. Uh, I like the stickers and I like his accessories. I like the shiny, shiny, but I think you might be able to duplicate that if you know how to paint a little bit. Um, I like the molding and don't really like all these ports. I think he looks looks kind of silly with all these like super mega burst mode or mm. adding all of the mini you never you never see them that way in the cartoon so I guess but you know it's a kid's imagination just add all the parts and then you get it so um all right guys this has been the Megatron AM15 uh, review uh, comment uh, subscribe um, unsubscribe uh, make sure you give shit to haters and uh, I don't know go, go look at a cat take a shit that might be fun and then play with the shit put the shit on a stick and then run around, gonna touch people with shit, like poo on a stick. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 11 a.m. Talk to you guys later. And check out the Twitch. I'm waiting for Follow Cybertron. Come on. Come by. Bye-bye. Beep.